My name is Sam Vaknin and uh, I'm a columnist in Brussels Morning. Today, a bit of a controversial message for a change. <laughs> I want to talk to you about Henry Kissinger. Kissinger is dead. Long live Realpolitik. I think it is time to give up on the failing liberal democracy project and its attendant ideologies, human rights, sanctity of life, rule of law, civic engagement, international community, and other such infantile inanities. Liberal democracy is fading everywhere because exactly like communism, it is founded on a counterfactual view of human psychology and on a fallacious reframing of human history. Ideologies are inflexible and self-defeating straitjackets. Adherence to such fantasies, ineluctably and inexorably, leads to conflict and mayhem. As the United States founding fathers knew, universal franchise democracy is a dangerously flawed idea. It empowers the nascent and the dumb, gives rise to demagogues, and elevates ruthless populist antisocial leaders. Similarly, the human and civil rights agendas are totalitarian victimhood doctrines that abrogate the inalienable and primordial right for self-defense and the meritocratic allocation of resources, among many other distortions. We need to get rid of all this delusional enlightenment baggage, and we need to revert to realpol realpolitik, the consummate use of power, hard and soft, in order to create and maintain peace and to regulate conflict. Contrary to deliberate misrepresentations by bleeding heart acolytes of the liberal democracy religion, realpolitik does not equate might with right nor does it do away with, civil, with a civil discourse among interest holders. Realpolitik merely recognizes reality, adapts to it transigently, on the fly, without preconceptions, and aspires to optimize outcomes in a game-theoretical manner. Where is the place of existing structures in a realpolitik world? Human institutions are founded on the preservation and utilization of power. Power, its dissemination, its management, and its maintenance. Realpolitik is about honestly admitting to this fact, not about instigating a revolution. And what about the rule of law? It is a natural derivative of realpolitik because the state possesses a monopoly on the legitimate use of violence. But will not realpolitik sacrifice, niceties such as human rights, civil rights, not necessarily and not always, but it will dispense summarily with the self-imputed right to intervene in the internal affairs of sovereigns. Let domestic power matrices within polities determine the local admixtures of the rights and obligations of the populace and the shape and functioning of their institutions it's no one else's business. By far the greatest impact of realpolitik will be the pacification of international affairs. In a realpolitik world, powers, global and regional, would recognize each other's spheres of influence and rarely trespass, for as long as overt, unambiguously signaled might is the regulating and organizing principle of international affairs. It's time to resurrect Henry Kissinger and the long line of wise statesmen who preceded him throughout history and who served as his intellectual inspiration and mine.